welcome to Kingdom Devotions. Today's scripture verse is from the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 7 to 10. And it says, But whatever gain I had, I count as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his suffering, because like becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Amen. Now, if anyone can boast his accomplishments as Paul, look at his CV in verse 5 to 6. He was circumcised on the eighth day in a, the people of Israel, the chosen nation of God, the, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews. He's a pure blood Jew. As to the law, a Pharisee. Pharisees adhere straightly to the law. You know, and as to seal, let's not forget, he was the persecutor of the church. As to righteousness under law, he was blameless. You know, he is the perfect Jew. Poster boy of the son that every Jewish mom would like to have. Yet despite of all his accomplishments, his birthright, his education, his credentials, his nationalities, he said that they are worth nothing. He even said they are rubbish compared to knowing Christ Jesus as his Savior. You know, knowing Jesus, knowing the salvation grace that comes through faith in Christ, it's so amazing that it transformed him, Paul, from persecutor to preacher, from religion to relationship. You know, it is no longer his efforts, our efforts, but through Christ we have gained everything. It is not who we are, but whose we are that matters the most. We Now that we have put our faith in Christ as our Savior, we are children of the living God, heir to his kingdom, co-heir with Jesus. Isn't that amazing? You know, belonging to God is way better than anything we can plan or we can imagine. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just want to thank you for your faithfulness, for never giving up on us, for calling us and loving us. Lord, we thank you that we can call you Abba, that we are your children, sons and daughters of the living God. Lord, I pray, Lord Father, that you know that we don't hold this identity to ourselves, but we will go and tell others about your goodness so that they may know you as well, Lord Father. Thank you for the work that you have done in our lives, for the transformation, for the breakthroughs that have happened, Lord Father. Lord, and we look for I look forward to what you're going to do in our lives, Lord Father. And how you will work through us, Lord Father, to extend your kingdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your most precious name I pray. Amen.